Welcome back to the Phase Vlog. I am Brett Hetherington of Head for Studios, your host, guide, and chief storyteller. And right now, only storyteller. This vlog is designed to give you a peek behind the curtain of Head for Studios and a little window into my own world personally. Uh, why I do what I do, why I bother spending time creating. And ultimately, this week, gonna dive into why I am so passionate about telling stories. We all love stories, really. We all have our favorite stories, favorite shows, favorite songs, favorite movies. Uh, we've all got that friend who tells some crazy stories, and there's always that one that we love to hear over and over again. Trust me, I've got so many filed up here, I don't have time in a vlog maybe a second vlog where I just share those stories. No, but we all love stories. We're all driven by them. And we like the idea, we love the idea of being involved in something that's bigger than ourselves, being uh, a piece of a bigger story. Uh, we, we all seek that idea of that, that state of belonging where we are essential and integral to the plot of life. Because if we're not, then what's the point? So I share the same love of stories everyone else has, but I've also, over the years, been able to use stories as teachable moments with students I've taught, with my own children, with myself. Because every story has a point. Even the goofiest ones have a point in there somewhere. And as someone who is a huge fan of uh, television and movies and books, Stories have messages, and the best stories seek to pull us up out of the mire and help us become better people. So stories have this power to them. They're not just words on a page or uh, images on a screen. They have power. They can tear us down, they can build us up, they can push us to be better or they can show us our flaws and how we fail. So stories have this power and they are, in my opinion, the best way of communicating. I've taught for years and the messages that have stuck the most with the students I've taught have been those that are based in story because it gave them something to relate to. It gave them uh, an exp a shared experience with someone else who may have been going through the same thing they are at that moment. So they're more effective as a teaching tool, but they're also a lot more fun because you can inhabit the message. It's not, hey, be nice, don't be mean to other people. It's, wow, this person really grew a lot. They, they saw there were differences and that we're stronger when uniting in those differences than we are by going about it ourselves and tearing each other down. Big Star Trek fan. Uh, I've said it before. And one of the best things about Star Trek storytelling is that they use those stories to teach a, a, a grander message, to share a worldview that will make us better. So that's why I love telling stories. Stories have power. And it's not a matter of I want to wield the power. It's I deeply desire using that power of story to help others grow, to find their identity, to embrace who they are. And that's why I love telling stories, because they're a great tool for helping us improve on ourselves and on the world around us. So that's all I have for this week. Uh, take some time to leave a comment. What is one of your favorite stories? Uh, what's a story that impacted you positively or negatively? And maybe share what one of your favorite stories that I've told you so far is. So you keep watching. I'll keep sharing these stories.